Today we're going to talk about changes in security in Epicor 10.1. Epicor has added some new menu items in the security maintenance area in Epicor 10.1. Today will be an overview of some of these items that you can use to protect your Epicor environment. So let's see what these new security options are. This is an outline that shows some of the new security menu items and other options. Each of these topics are new in Epicor 10.1 and will be discussed further in detail on the following slides. The first two items, account lockout policy and password policy, are new menu items under security maintenance in Epicor 10.1. Expire passwords is an action item under password policy maintenance. The global security manager and owning company are options now available in the menu maintenance area and the system code is also another control that is available in the menu maintenance area but was also available in version 10.0.700.4. The first new menu item is the account lockout policy. Similar to Windows system lockouts, you can set up an account lockout policy in Epicor 10.1. You can set the number of attempts that the user can try their username and password combination with an incorrect entry before locking their account out. The login temps can be reset to zero after the time you set you enter in the reset counter after value in that control box. If you choose an incremental lockout, the lockout duration is disabled. An incremental lockout will increase the lockout time by doubling the duration after each lockout threshold, the number of attempts that they tried to log in unsuccessfully is reached. The lockout duration can be filled in if you do not choose the incremental lockout. Here you can just fill in the number of minutes that the lockout will be in effect before the account is released to, to attempt to log in again for the user. The next new menu item is password policy maintenance. Now in Epicor 10.1 there is a password policy maintenance menu item that you will have that will have many options that are similar to those you have for many websites you log into. You can set the minimum password length, the number of characters. You can choose to allow the user ID or username to be part of the password, any or all portions of each. Remember, this makes it easier to guess passwords. Unchecking the Allow Username option then enables the Match Length box control. You can then fill in the relative number of characters that can be entered from the username. Forcing the user to have X number from the username is how I'm interpreting this. I'm not, this is my understanding from reading about this option due to limited time I have not tested this option. The options in the character categories can be checked or unchecked if you want to require certain characters. The minimum char categories box indicates how many of the above categories you would like to require. Choosing all the char character categories disables the minimum category box. However, you can choose any other combination of the character categories and then enter a value in the minimum categories box to make sure the user includes the selected categories for sure, but they can then choose from the other available categories to meet the minimum categories requirement. Finally, you can choose to allow users to save their passwords. The next new security item in Epicor 10.1 is an option available called expire all passwords. This option is available in the password policy maintenance menu item. By using the actions menu you can click on expire all passwords. This option will clear all passwords for active user accounts. When you create or change your password policy you would use this option to make sure all new passwords adhere to the new password policy. So once you would change your password policy, the next step would be to expire all passwords and then that would force everybody to 
choose a new password for their user account that includes all the options that you set up in your password policy. The global security ma manager option. On the menu maintenance I item in Epicor 10 1, Epicor has now added a global security manager only option. This is the highest level of security and prevents users even with security manager access from using these menu items unless they also have the global security manager option. As shown here, you enable and disable the option in the Epicor admin console. You would choose your users for your environment and then right click on a specific user to enable or disable the global company security management. Most often this option is used in software as a service or Epicor hosted environments. The owning company option. Also in menu maintenance, Epicor added the own, owning company box. This displays the company where the current security ID was created and this value cannot be changed. If the all companies checkbox is selected, then users within companies in the same organization as the owning company can view and use the security ID. However, only users within the owning company can make changes to the security ID. For system menu items where the system checkbox is selected, the owning company field is blank. This indicates the current security ID is available to all companies within the current organization. The system code. This is another control box item also added in the menu maintenance. This displays the Epicor system group used for the selected menu item program. Epicor programs either belong to the application system, which is the ERP system code, or to the tools system, which will then show the ICE system code. I noticed while scrolling through the menu items, this field is not always filled in, so this may be more of a future item to be developed. And this option was also available in Epicor 10.0.700.4. So new security options. Epicor 10.1 offers them, and it's up to you if you want to use them or not. I suggest setting up any of these options that you'd like to try out for use in your test, training, or pilot environments and test them to make sure they work as you expect before moving them to live. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Thank you.